Hi, I'm Vicki Prince. I'm the Senior Vice President for West Coast Operations. And today I'd like to talk to you about the common hiring bugs that dental practices run into. Now there are three main problems that dental practices seem to run into most often. The first is not enough applicants, and I hear this a lot. What I'd like to check with our clients is A, where are they posting their ads? Oftentimes I will find that they posted one maybe two months ago on one platform. And unfortunately, that isn't enough. What we want to ensure is that you are posting your ad on enough platforms and the platforms that are common for your area and that you're posting often enough for your ad to be seen. So typically we're looking at posting your ad at least twice a month. Every other week seems to be the most ideal as far as postings to get enough response. Another point on this that most offices don't know is that ads typically perform better at the beginning of the week than they do at the end of the week. So if let's say you post your ad on a Thursday or Friday, your response to that ad will usually be far less than if you were to post your ad on let's say a Monday or Tuesday. So work to post your ads in the beginning of the week. And if you notice that let's say you did post an ad at the end of the week, you didn't get very much response, go ahead and just repost the ad for Monday or Tuesday. And then from there, repost every other week. And that'll increase your ad response. Commonly with just this tweak, what I will find is that clients who are getting, let's say 10 to 15 responses, will get as many as 140 responses to the ad within a 24 hour time period. So very simple handling, but it's very effective. So you wanna make sure that you do do this. The second point I'd like to discuss is the ad itself. Most doctors will write an ad that is basically speaking to themselves. And what we want to do is we want to have an ad that attracts the right candidate. So you have to think about what does your ideal candidate look for in a position and write it based off of that. And you can think about how you market to your new patients. You don't place an ad or send out a postcard that says, patients with broken teeth and great insurance and credit, please come over, right? That wouldn't attract the right patients. So the same rule applies in your posting ad. You wanna make sure that it's upbeat, it's positive, and it really paints a picture of what working in your office would be like, and that picture should be a positive one. So when you write your ad, I want you to think about what is your ideal candidate looking for, and then write it based off of that. Another point commonly overlooked more often than you would think is typos in an ad. You don't want that, right? You want somebody who's smart, who's upbeat, and is gonna be a hard worker for you. And as a candidate, we're looking at the quality of those posts. And so if your ad is filled with typos, the candidate looking at that, the type that you want, is going to spot that and be not so impressed. So make sure you actually take the time to read through your ad and ensure that it's free of any typographical errors and that it flows well and again, paints a really positive picture of your practice. Now lastly, point number three is often I will run into doctors not having enough time to respond to the responses that they're now getting. And so what will often happen is a doctor will get, let's say 20 to 30 responses on the first day, it is a lot of responses for somebody who is doing the treatment, running the office, handling anything else that goes along with that. And so three or four more days might go by before the doctor or the office manager actually gets to respond to those ads. And we must ensure that as soon as we get a response, we're responding to it within 24 hours. And ideally within a few hours um, would be best. So if you're finding that you're taking too long to get to your ad, you're, let's say it's Tuesday, you get a response and you're not responding until Friday, what you want to do is either delegate it to somebody within your practice who you can say, look, I needed to respond to this ad, get them in here for an interview if the resume looks good. So that way you still obviously do the one-on-one -on -one interview or hire somebody, it could be an outside hiring agency, that goes through your responses and does the footwork for you. It does take a bit of time, so if you're finding that you're falling behind on it, we definitely wanna make sure that it's delegated to either somebody internally in the practice 
or if that isn't an option, you can hire an outside hiring agency to handle that for you. And what you'll find is you'll get your best candidates now coming in because the best candidates are the ones that get scooped up the fastest by other employers uh, and you'll be able to hire some good staff. This is a problem that we commonly help our clients with on the MGE program. So if you'd like some help with this, please contact us to find out more about that. Also, with regard to the staff that you do hire, it is important that you do have some training lined up for them so that they thrive on their jobs. Uh, commonly, a dentist will hire staff and those staff may fail and the doctor will think, well, there just are not any good staff to hire. I'm sure you've run into this. But the actual problem is there was no training lined up for those candidates to ensure that they actually did well. Um, so what I'd like you to do is sign up for DDS Success. It is an online training platform that MGE offers and will help you to handle that training for your staff so they actually do perform well. I hope you like this tip. If you'd like to see more, click below and subscribe and we hope to see you next week.